welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading with me, there is a link in the description box below this video. You can book a text message reading or just book a phone call, tarot reading with me or with Brandy. You can also become a member of my channel if you would like to join. It's $2.99 per month. You get cool emojis, an awesome badge, and a shout out if you become a member. And thank you to everyone who has recently joined. If you were a previous member, you also get your status back, okay? So we're gonna take a look at the rest of, we only have like pretty much a week left of February. Um, and not even really and a look at the March energies to see what messages there are for you and I was shuffling and two cards popped out so you have acts a breakup separation stopping the pattern and then there's a love call and here's that twin flame card again Virgo oh my goodness okay let's take a look and see so there's an energy of some kind of breakup or stopping a pattern in a relationship maybe a pattern of separating um breaking up making up that energy let me take a look there's some type of separation situation happening here in march um let's take a look and see okay a whole bunch of cards okay you got five cards that fell out okay somebody is not sure about something they are trying to seek some answers and get some clarity um about a relationship in march okay so there may be like a moving away or a separation there could be a relationship with a fire sign um uh, somebody maybe apologizes or sends a, a message something like hey i love you but i'm confused about what this relationship is or what i want or what i want to do I need time to kind of just move forward and think about things right now. Um, I really like someone really putting in the effort to try to figure out if they want to continue on with the relationship. Um, and I feel like I don't. So this card does say silent treatment. I, it might feel like a silent treatment or uh, to someone, but there's a bit of confusion here. I feel like somebody's confused now this could be another person or this could be you but there's like this there could be like um, for some like for someone here they could be receiving some messages or receiving someone flirting with them and it's confusing them they're, they're... yeah okay <laughs> It doesn't sound like the best thing, Virgo, but there is this little bit of like, oh, what do I want to do here? Do I want to give this the relationship the axe? Should I focus on someone else who's coming in or someone who's trying to establish some type of love connection, maybe somebody new? So there is a little bit of confusion happening here and, and, and somebody is seeking clarity. You know, what's the best thing to do? Okay, so let me just get a couple more cards here. All right, King of Pentacles, which would represent your energy, Virgo. Okay, judgment. You're you're definitely having some kind of wake up call, to you. and and for some of you, this is you, and it's like shh, you're contemplating. You're, you're, it looks like you're trying to figure out if you want to just end something, or if something's ended, if you should just move on and accept new love offers coming in. Um, from another person there's definitely with judgment or should you reconcile or try to hold on to a relationship so a little bit of this energy is playing out this week i'm sorry this well this week into the rest of march asking yourself specifically what's the best course of action i do feel like with the six of swords you're trying to get into a more stable peaceful mindset here as far as what you want to do okay because there's a little there even with the moon there there's something it, it feels like there's a lot of clouds in your head you have clouds in your head your head is cloudy your mind is cloudy um some of you might just be focusing on other tasks or other things just to get a reprieve from some type of confusion i feel 
about um it, it's kind of like all right well you you might be trying to figure something out you can't figure it out you can't seem to come to an answer you're not really sure what the solution is or how to resolve something and uh, there may be this energy of like you know let me just let me go work on my car <laughs> or let me just get involved in my tasks or uh, my career or things like that and 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 see what comes okay see what comes now i do feel like there may be some type of reconciliation or someone opening up um there could be an apology if there was a breakup because you have love call so there is something here with someone reaching out to you possibly saying that they miss you or they're thinking of you and they want to let you know expressing their look at that old school phone i mean we had that phone hanging on our wall when i was growing up <laughs> with the twirly cord you know so there is something here about a, a love call coming in okay um you might be in march you know communicating to someone or telling someone you know you need to clear your head you don't know you're not sure you need to get clarity um you might be telling someone you're going to end something and you want to break up or you're, you don't want to do this relationship anymore there's a lack of clarity you're not sure about some things and it, you may be feeling like you can't get the answers from another person because there might be some deception or lies connected to them. They might not be telling, giving you some truths. So you're trying to find out the truth. But I feel like whoever this person is that you might be ending something with here. Hmm. I feel like they're going to reach out, tell you that they love you and that they they still have you in their mind. They, they want you to know that they can't stop thinking about you. Hmm. Okay. They're going to give you some space to figure out and learn what it is you need to learn about yourself or about what's going on with you, but they definitely want some type. I feel like they're sincere. They definitely want some kind of reconnection with you. Okay. Um, I feel like they're going to let you walk away and try to figure out, like go for your ninth cup, try to figure out, go on this journey of your heart and your emotions to try to figure out what you want to do. They're going to give you that space and move away from you. Um, there might be, I'm hearing maybe some kind of separation because of school, something to do with school or uh, education or learning something. Um, I don't feel like this person is giving up on you. I see that this person is going to return up. It's like a past energy, reach out to you and tell you how they feel about you. But I don't feel like they're going to push you. Um, they're going to give you that space. Let me see what else is coming up here. Hmm. Wow. This person feels like, like you are it for them. They, they would like long term. They see you and them as a long term partners it could be a virgo another virgo a taurus a capricorn a scorpio there could be um uh fire energy aries leo sagittarius here your connection could be with let me see hmm, this person is like really sad they are grieving they are truly missing you yeah hmm make me want to cry there's just this sense of like they, they they kind of lost a little bit of faith here um it's hard for them to turn around and see that there's still two cups that there's hope they feel a sense of regret for anything they might have done uh, they might be blaming themselves or saying that you know they there's a soulmate energy here between you and this person i'm gonna tell you that right now okay even though twin flames is sitting up there we'll get into that in a minute but there is this I feel like this person is is definitely going to reach out because they miss you. They're sad. They keep thinking about you. They have you on their mind and on their heart 24/7. They they want a future with you. Okay, let me see. They're hoping that you'll want to reconcile with them, but they're not going to push you to do that. Um but yeah, I feel like this they're definitely going to initiate communication. 
could be an air sign. Um, hmm. And they're truthful here and being completely open and honest and crystal clear that, you know, they want new growth. They want the opportunity to um, have something here with you. Just, you know, new growth is like, could even represent like having children or starting your lives together, planting these seeds, you know, that this person is like really serious about this with you. So I do feel like you're gonna hear from them, okay? Um, they don't want something to be over here. They want to try to salvage the relationship before it's completely dead in the water. They're not going to give up. So I feel like they're going to tell you that. Now, as far as the twin flame thing goes, I mean, this person feels that you two are, you complement each other. Are they your twin flame? They could be. I, I'm just not sure. But if they know anything about twin flames, um, they may not know the term, but it feels like a yin yang, like there's some something opposite about you two, but you blend well together, uh, that you balance each other out. Let me see here. You might feel this way about this person as well. Um, but if you are feeling confused, okay, we have Taurus energy here. That, this is just the like the full committed. This person is like they, you're it, you're it for them. You are it for them and they are 100% committed to that fact. There isn't anybody else for them. Yep, you're their whole world. And they've weighed that, they have. This person, they have, they have weighed, <laughs> balanced it out. They have looked at the options out there and, and you are it for them, you are their world. Look at that. You're a blessing to them. That's how they feel about you. So, but they're not sure how you feel about them. You know, um, they'll take the hits, whatever it is they want to have. I mean, this person is like very soldier-esque. You know, they have like this, they're, they're tough, they're strong. They have good, strong boundaries. But I want to know really here, Virgo, what is this confusion that you have? Hmm. Do you feel like you could just do better on your own? Do you feel like this person is leaving you single? Or, or do you feel like you are solo? What's this anxiety, Virgo? Hmm. Are you so used to being on your own that having someone that you can't believe that this person really loves you? Like it's like magic. Is it hard for you to be, do you believe in magic? Na, 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 na. There you go. <laughs> That's an oldie. Is it hard for you to believe that this thing is, you know, magic is like what? Magic's not real. You know, it's a trick. Do you feel like safer being on your own? Is it hard for you to believe that somebody could love you as much as this person does? Or do you feel like you're being deceived? Do you feel like they're just playing you? You're definitely taking, you're retreating. You're definitely retreating. I don't know if you're running away or you know, are you running away? You're retreating to try to like gain some balance here. Your dreams are speaking to you, Virgo. Pay attention to your dreams, they just said. Surround yourself with the people in your life who support you, who celebrate you. You know, Virgo, I don't know if somebody was deceptive towards you. I, I'm not really seeing that here. And I don't want to call you out and say, Virgo, you just have no faith, but you might be lacking. You might be a bit suspicious. You're keeping, you, you keep your feelings in. You're trying to, yeah, you're really trying to gain some clarity here and you're pushing back. Yeah, you're a bit defensive. You're protecting yourself. And that's what I feel like is going on here. 
It feels like you're protecting yourself from being hurt. I mean, with great love comes great risk, of course. But there is an energy here. Um, I feel like somebody really does love you. They really care about you. They'll wait for you. For whatever you know, you need to sort out within yourself, you will hear from them. But no matter how much this person tells you, it, you have to come to believe. You have to be the one to have the faith. And I feel like you're doing some inner, uh, you know, getting trying to get some wisdom and trying to really communicate. Maybe the relationship went very quickly, fast, super, super fast almost to where it felt so magical it didn't seem like it was real but like somebody really made you feel like all your wishes came true hmm virgo this is a beautiful connection so if you i do see you guys are gonna come back together but i i feel like for you virgo you are the one who needs to sort out in your mind. I keep seeing that old, that meme with that kid that's sitting in the back seat after he went to the dentist and he's like, is this real life? I, I feel like there's something here that's so incredible that it's almost scary, you know, maybe for you to absorb that, that, that energy. Uh, and, and it might be something that went so quickly, um, that happens so fast that you guys just fell for each other but it's like you know falling can be painful so maybe you're trying to gain a little clarity for yourself here you know oh yeah there is chemistry very strong chemistry between you and another person here they feel it very highly for you you feel it very highly for them i feel like you might be protecting yourself from getting hurt And if you've been, you know, through the ringer in the past, there is always going to be that risk where it hurts a bit more because sometimes if you have unhealed wounds, it can they can reopen. So this feels like a new love situation. So you might have connected with this person not too long ago. Um, and the the recommitment to both like to the relationship i feel like is gonna ha there's gonna be a restart here with you and this person yeah because look they're they're feeling guilty like they treated you badly they, they have some remorse like they didn't treat you very well or they're, or they're questioning they're doubting themselves and maybe they didn't i don't know for sure you only you would know that um you might feel regret that you treated another person this person not so well and you might be kicking yourself about that and hoping for an, a new start between you both. Um, hmm. But I feel like there will be a recommitment to the relationship because there's something here about the way you two blend, the way you jive together. It's very nice. It's comfortable. There's a sense of perhaps you felt like you could be yourself with this person. But did you trust? Were you able to trust? Because something sometimes can feel that's just so good that sometimes you can feel like it's too good to be true and start to have doubts or question. I feel like, you know, this person does long for you, but I feel like maybe you guys need more time to get, get to know each other a bit better. There might have been um, a little infatuation that occurred or, um, you know, blinders on those rose-colored glasses and... Uh, and that tends to happen at the start of a relationship but it feels like it feels like there was so much attraction chemistry it was so powerful with the love here between the two of you that it, it clouded everything maybe there was like a some kind of circumstance or a situation that like kind of popped the that love bubble and it was like reality set in and then it was like oh I'm confused or something happened and I don't know what to do you know um yeah I feel like that that's kind of what's happening here so but I do feel like there's an opportunity that's going to present itself this person is going to reach out to you tell you that they love you tell you that they miss you that they're thinking of you there's going to be a little bit of reassurance or 
something along the way or the lines that they don't want to end this. They don't want something to be over. Um, and if you make the decision that you want to give this another try or maybe just baby step it this time instead of rushing in here, like this eight of wands to, to kind of maybe just take it slow and really cement the relationship a bit more. If that's a decision that you make, I feel like this is something that can go the distance. It feels positive to me. Okay, let me take a look at the Chinese signs. I want to see. Could be with a Pisces. Let's see the Chinese signs here for Virgo. This you and this person. All right. So someone's the year of the rooster. We have year of the rat. Year of the tiger. Tiger again. Uh, year of the dog. Year of the pig. Year of the goat. Year of the rabbit. And, oh, rooster again. Could be a double rooster. And year of the dragon. So that could be you and this person, or just one of you, or none of you. Doesn't mean it wouldn't be your reading. Let's get some initials and dates and numbers okay so we've got someone's name has two e's in it two e's someone's born in 1980 august 31st here we go um september 22nd someone's name starts with a c we have september 9th we have september 11th i just saw we have oh the letter s okay they're saying take a look at something here see it see something like really see it um september 17th and someone also might live near the sea or live near a beach or have a connection to the sea and we've got the letter y someone is 56 we have the letter o the letter k Letter H, the letter G. Oh, no, that's a Q. Um, someone is 61 or born in 61. Let's see. The letter O again. Uh, mm, August 29th. Birthday. Someone is 36. Someone's born in 82. A connection to a November birthday and a connection to a May birthday. Someone's 41. We have the initial I. September 2nd. Okay. Let's see if we can get a little more insight onto the sign of this person, Virgo. All right. Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, and Taurus. Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, Libra. And Capricorn, Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, let's see what your charms are, Virgo. Charms for Virgo. Oh, okay, you have two. I'll show you. You have a palm tree. So there is a connection to a palm tree or coconuts. Coconuts, connection to a palm tree, Virgo. Okay, that could be your connection or their connection. Um, you know, palm trees are very flexible. You know what I mean? The bamboo, they don't crack. They just bend. They just go with the flow. Um, so there could be a person in your life who's very go with the flow, just kind of like whatever you want to do. They're just very, like they're bend. They're, they're, they adapt to harsh environments. They're very good at adapting you also have a saw so i just saw a seesaw <laughs> like a playground or a seesaw i'm in, i'm picturing like a, kid, a child's playground the seesaw but i'm also looking here and i i see that there's uh, something that was kind of cut off and um i feel like if if you've ended something with with someone or you just gave someone the axe or 
you know, ended a relationship. I do feel like this person is, like I was saying, there's an element of like flexibility and they're just kind of like, look, if that's what you need to do right now, I understand that. I'm flexible. Whatever you want to do, we'll do. I'm here for you. I'm thinking about you. I do love you. I hope that you will return. I hope that, that we could salvage something here. I mean, obviously, if someone is going to reach out after something ends, they obviously still have some element of care. To what level? A scale of 1 to 10. It's kind of high. So um, there could just be somebody... <laughs> I don't know somebody cutting down a palm tree do people cut down palm trees can you even yeah, i guess you could uh something here builder somebody might be a builder or is in construction or is um trying to rebuild or hoping that there is an opportunity to rebuild this relationship okay after it's been sawed off or cut off or after something is ending here um i feel like virgo the clarity really for you is does this person truly care like is it is this real because with that magician that gemini energy it just kind of made me feel like hard to believe and that might have something to do with your own self-esteem or self-worth that you might need to understand about yourself are you do you feel like you're not lovable because you totally are do you feel like you're not worthy of someone because you totally are um i hope that you give yourself the that positive affirmation and then begin to believe that even if you have to fake it till you make it um this person sees in you that you are they actually even feel like they might not be worthy of you because they have you on some kind of pedestal of some sort so yeah interesting message for march so i'm gonna leave that there i hope that gave you some insight and i will see you guys all back here you know the drill tomorrow love ya see ya bye Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.